led them to a city that was said to have had giants and, and all kinds of uh, raging armies cared for and treated and made from Israel. So that is what the, there are very, many variations of the shofar, but this is one type. Right, American of conscience. And I stand before you here now, an abolitionist and a recruiter, for I firmly believe the Negro should serve the Union cause, fight to put down this confederacy. for pulling teeth out because the surgeon was also a dentist. Well, he said he was a dentist. But a lot of the soldiers' teeth were real bad. And to get into the army, you had to have at least four teeth. Two on the top and two on the bottom. Because they had cartridges made out of paper. Oh, I thought she would come out this way. cartridge would look like this. And the powder for the gun would be in here. And they would rip it with their teeth and dump it down the barrel to make it a spark to send the bullet out of the rifle barrel. So if they didn't have enough teeth to rip that paper, they couldn't be in the army. So you had to have four front teeth, four F, four F. So in the army today, if you are four F, you're out. So the same, the, the same words that they used back then, they use still to use today. Oh, funny. So four F, four front teeth. 
You have to have that to be in the army. Push on. You just wiggle it out, fill it, and push it back down. Because the other one suffered a casualty today until I epoxy it back together. Okay. You have powder, you say? I do have powder. Okay, so shall, you, I, shall I go and get the stuff and come back to you? You come back to me and we will do a little training. I'm the ordnance sergeant for the 17th Connecticut Company H. And I'm outfitting these new recruits to be able to go and take the field today by supplying powder and caps. Like this gentleman here has caps already, but he'll need powder. He has powder, he'll need to have a loader for the load. Then he'll make some papers like this, some paper cartridges, fill them with powder, and he'll be ready to go. Now to make those papers, you have to have a pattern like so, trapezoidal cut piece of paper to make a piece of paper like this. Now to make your cartridge tube, you start like so, with just a little bit of non-covered. You'll notice that the end of the stick has a divot in it. And we're gonna roll that around the stick, twist the end, and then we're gonna jam it down into that divot. And it's gonna make a nice tight tube. And we're gonna fill that with 65 grains of black powder by shaking some down into it, putting it in here, shaking it in, and then we're going to fold the paper to a point. And then we take the point and we stick it through where the folds overlap like that only this would actually have powder in it at the time another way to load is you can take a bowl of black powder and here we have a modern day cartridge that's been cut down to 65 you can dip it and pour it in i don't prefer that method this is the projectile it's a reproduction it's not real from the era, but that's what these things used to have. They would actually be about that long, not short like this. They would come to us in these green boxes down here on the floor. It'd be a thousand rounds in each one. Now they were made in the city mostly by children and women in the factories. And they would come to us a thousand at a time many many thousands of boxes so, this gentleman here these are the percussion caps that make the initial spark there's a touch of chemical inside called fumulated mercury and that's what's going to explode and ignite the powder These are your caps. You can take more than 50 then if they're yours. But remember, you'll need one at the beginning and one at the end. Yeah, I'm taking 60. Yeah. When I used to take the field, I would take at least 60 rounds. Okay. But now that I don't take the field, I do this. Do you have a funnel, Mike, uh, for me to play my rifle? Yes, I have funnels. I have them in my tent. Oh, okay. I've got to go in there anyway to get my hand. And there's the uh, model 1860. No, it's there. Now, there.